there's a lot of radiant heat coming off that fire, so the firefighters are uh, dealing with some pretty good heat coming off of those flames. And you can see the flank fire is pretty vigorous on this side. And you can see we're down to a backfire on the other side. Notice how it flares and with this flank fire is pretty strong when it first creates a little bit of its own wind, so it's kind of creating a little bit of its own head fire for a moment. And then it'll go down to a little bit lower level. We're hesitating for a period of time. This will give an opportunity for any rabbits or, or uh, other animals to come out the uh, west end before we ring the fire. So we always try to keep one end open for a while so they can move away from the fire. Drip torch is going to be coming along the west side now. It's going to be catching a flank fire initially and then it will be a head fire as he comes closer to the northwest corner. And as you can see, we probably got three quarters of the area burned before we head fired. But as the head fire flares up, notice some of the differences in the smoke. We've got, really don't have much of a backfire going now except a little bit on the south side, but that's gonna change shortly. And uh, it's gonna be mostly flank fire and head fire. As those two parts of the fire come a little bit closer together, they'll be creating some of their own updraft. Notice a few fire whirls coming off the top of the flames there as the gas this material is kicked up into the air. And notice a slightly more black smoke. Although this fuel is very dry and so it burns pretty thoroughly in most cases. Basically that completes the ignition sequence. Now it's just a matter of uh, letting it burn itself out. And then uh, when that's pretty much burned out, then we go in and mop up any spots that might be glowing as possible sources of, uh, of sending embers into the adjoining area. You may notice from the smoke directions, we've had just a slight change in wind direction back a little bit more to the north. Notice some of the crews moving in to knock down the smokers. Well, that pretty much completes the uh, demo burn you had an opportunity to see backfires, flank fires, and a head fire, get some idea. Uh, as you watch at that, I think you can probably well imagine what a head fire would do if there was, out, it was unburned fuel out ahead of it, which of course is one of the major reasons we have good black lines before we light a head fire, because those be burned very uh, at a high level of energy and uh, can throw materials a ways away. So we want a good wide black line before we ignite the uh, head fire.